Almost 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare disease. Everyone was certain I was going to die. That's when I realized that healing and hope won't come from chemicals mixed in any lab. And I needed something much bigger to make me better. Glamour Box is my way of reminding everyone, you have a beautiful soul and a glamorous life. Live it to the fullest and brace yourself because the best is yet to come. goes welcome to my channel we're doing your what are we doing 10 to 11 okay I used to be here right now is goji berry good morning America good morning world miss that right we go here we go uh-huh uh. it's drizzling right now here okay can I just imagine snow okay <laughs> here we go oh no you know what I've, I've done my I've done my time with this now okay it's fine it's very cool weather though. Love this weather. 10 to the 11, Virgos. It's goji berry. Okay, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. That's what I'd say. That's why I'm here like grungy hippie kind of thing. No hate, no tea, no shade on the hippie. We all have our thing. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go, Virgs. Virgs, <laughs> really? <laughs> Feel to that one. Okay. They say... Um, what's already coming for you is already there. So, expect this. Whatever it is. Ugh. It's something big. It's something good. It will make your eyes... Uh, you might cry when this thing comes to you. I'm not sure what it is. Ugh. But it's big. Filter this, please. Ugh. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's big. If I see it, I have to say it. <laughs> it's big. The tower! Ugh. Mind blown. I need to stay away from this energy. Are you in heat? Okay. I was cool with all the zodiac until you come, Virgo. <laughs> okay. Mind blowing. Fine. Um, if you were ever intimate with this person, amazing. Amaze balls. <laughs> I can't use amaze balls now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, this is also relocating. You might want to change houses, change something. But I fear this is more also of trying to connect with... Um, uh, you might want to connect with someone or you have someone that is a Shiva. Um, Shiva has this trident. It's not a trident. I forgot what it's called. But I'm seeing here. Yeah. So, um, this energy is about bringing a big change like when shiva opens you know his eyes you know the world gets destroyed and everything gets destroyed so he's always just meditating so you probably meditate and then you will have an awakening and when you open up when you open your eyes you feel like okay life has changed and life is life is gonna be better okay um i don't call this falling apart with the tower um i've understand the tower as a falling into place big difference Falling apart is the process of it. This is already what it's supposed to. So things are basically settling down now. Okay. So it's a trishula. A trishula. Okay. The the fork. Okay. Trishula. Well, his, Shiva is not holding a fork. Okay. That's what I'm saying. He's like this. Okay. There we go. Other person. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. I'm not sure how the relevance of Shiva and Ganesh together, but there is an energy about Shiva and Ganesh being together. Okay. Uh, I, see, I feel here that the other person has knowledge, the other person has more of like, I'm breaking through some cycles, I'm breaking through some changes. Other person has a life-changing event right now that's happening, this can be with the other person. And the other person is just being patient. Eight of Pentacles is coming from the Seven of Pentacles. So they patiently waited for things to grow. Okay. Let me see here. Next to the tower. Prince of Pentacles. So there's a communication that's going to happen. There is a talk. But this is more of... I have something to tell you. And I believe... Um, hmm... Peacocks is either, I don't know, whichever, Rohini, Mrigashira, or a, a Taurus. So just let's just say this is a Taurus. I'm not going to go to the Nakshatra. Okay. Because it can be Mrigashira, um, uh, you know what, whichever, Taurus. <laughs> it's, 
if you're connecting with a Taurus or Virgo, um, very passionate, okay, very, um, oh dear lord, the skin, uh, <laughs> no, like, you, you know, like, the skin, when you rub each other's skin like this, ooh, the lord, I can tell you that, mm, on point, on flick, okay, Virgo, you know, it's keep it in the hush hush, if you like, um, you know, a guy with a, what do you call it, a V cut, you know, that V, this person has that. Just saying. If it's a girl, I, I, you know, there's a V, but it's a different one. Okay. <laughs> you got me, guys. Okay. <laughs> it's covered, so I don't see it. Don't be conscious, girls. Okay. Four of Swords. So they're just see, totally contemplating on the situation. I need just, I just need some cool, chill pill anyway. Four of Swords. Um, when you're ready, let me know. You know, this other person. Being patient. You're with someone, or you're dealing with someone who. Who understand the value of space. Okay. Oh, there you go. Value of space. And then the world card. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to this energy of Saturn. Sheesh. Saturn and Sag. Oh, because it's a big move. From one nakshatra to the next one. That's what it is. So from... Because the degrees change. So now it's in uh, from Mula to Purva Ashada. This is a big choice. Oh, dear Lord. This is a big choice. It can be happening in their sixth house. If Saturn in the sixth, someone wants to change home. Okay. Sixth house is losing home, basically. That's what I'm seeing together with the tarot. They want to relocate. They're done wherever they're at. Oh, they load. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with someone who's younger, earth sign, who wants to change. Um, this is also starting new with this person. Remember the other person is going to do a transition? Yep, they're done. What is this? Leo got this. The person that you're dealing with, not that you can't trust them. There are people around them that can't be trusted. Not sure why. This can be the other person. It's almost like, just be careful. Okay. Um, like something gets stolen in your house. Like, this is not a liar. Like, someone will re literally break in your house, or ever go, or the person you're dealing with. It's not a cheater. I really feel like it's a real thief. <laughs> an actual one, an actual person going in, taking stuff. Okay, it's not your person. So just be careful with your, um, with your stuff. It, it, probably not in your house. Um, it can be, you know, wherever. Your bag, you don't notice it. Someone is stealing something. Someone is stealing, definitely. And this is not the person. There's a thief, a real thief, Virgo. Okay, be careful. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna separate that energy and then I'll draw one more. Ace of Cups. Okay. So be mindful of the thief. That's a real thief. Okay, first time the tire says, finally. <laughs> so this person is just vibing with their heart. Ace of Cups. Love. Okay. Now, if you wanna associate with that one, someone has stolen your heart. But I still feel. Be careful of your belongings, Virgo. Okay? Ace of Cups energy here with the Four of Swords. Someone has realized, you know, it's like, if a person is going through some changes, I'll give them space. And then when, when they're ready, I'm going to offer Ace of Cups. Love. Okay, Virgo? So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Link down there for everything that you need. Okay, also the extended. Um, there is the tarot class. The second one we're doing is a second house, which is a Taurus Hierophant card. It's already going to be out. Link down there. Um, there's also the 2019 prediction right there also. Um, it's a whole year prediction. And then what else? Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys again. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Virgos. Bye, guys.